All right, soldiers, welcome to another beautiful Monday morning. Even though it's hot as hell in some parts of the world, like it is here in Texas, uh, but still, I'd love waking up nice and early to do a little commentary for my subscribers. And even though these don't earn me enough money to quit my day job, you guys are still awesome, and I love connecting with you first thing to start off the week. So today, we're going to respond to one of the many messages that I receive, and it's from a subscriber who's having, surprise, surprise, girl troubles. Anonymous subscriber has this to say, quote, So recently, I've started dating a girl in a somewhat long-distance relationship. She lives two hours away, but I have a job and a car, and the drive is not a problem, and I tried to make it obvious in the beginning that two hours was not that far. After a, week, a few weeks of getting to know each other and me going out to see her, she suddenly stopped talking to me for two days and then called me to tell me that the distance is too much and we should be friends. That in itself is fine. She's <laughs> she is a great friend, and I can understand the distance thing, but that worries me, or what worries me, is that in the past week or so of just being friends, she hasn't talked to me hardly at all. Blah, 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 blah. I need help reconnecting with her because I don't want anything bad to happen. What should I do? <clears throat> okay. There are a couple things that I would need to know to fully answer this question and give like the best advice that I could give. Um, one being how old you are, you know, I'm assuming you can drive, you know, you have your own car, so you're 16, 17, maybe 18, um, which I assume, considering that you said you guys have already gone out for a few weeks, that you have had sex, and <laughs> that seems like a ridiculous question to ask, that shouldn't matter, right, well, it does, okay, if you've had sex, you can't be friends, that is a rule, and it is a rule that everybody should follow, um, for good reasons, if you have had sex with somebody, um, there are exceptions, and God, God knows I'm going to hear him in the comments. I've had sex with this girl, and now we're the best friends ever. No, okay? You want to go by the rules. The rule is don't be friends with people you've had sex with. It doesn't work out well. There will always be some type of uh, jealousy issues uh, that go on there. Um, so if you've had sex with her, you can't be friends. So you need to go ahead and take that option off the table and let her know and be like, look, I like you, and... I can't be friends with you. That's just not going to do for me. You know, it's it's an all or nothing kind of deal. And it may make you seem like an asshole, but that may be what she needs. She may be nervous about the entire long distance relationship to begin with, so she wants to hold off on it for a while. Let's just be friends for a while. You know, let let me let me dangle you there for a little bit and see if I can hold on to you as an option just in case I find something better. Or if something better doesn't come along, I still have you. You need to take that option right off the table and say, I really like you, and being friends is not going to be an option for me anymore. And a lot of guys are worried about saying that sort of thing because it's an ultimatum. And that ultimatum may not go in the direction that you want to, but you need to have that pride in yourself. And there's another thing that I want to get out right, right out right now, put it on the table. I don't believe in soulmates, per se. I think you can have... Um, multiple people that you can have a life with you know and some are going to work better than others you, you know it's just it's just a matter of finding that right person that it really clicks with but don't go under the assumption that she is the one because it has worked so you know worked so well up until this point there are going to be multiple people that you can make a relationship work um, some are just a lot better than others and you got to have that confidence that if this isn't going to work out, you will find someone else that it will work out with. That's the one that's the beauty of this world. There there are so many people out there, so many women for you. And don't force yourself to make something work simply because you don't have any other op you think you don't have any other options. You know, it, it's like that quote that I said in my last, you know, my last commentary. People sometimes settle to live in misery because they're afraid of letting go. And don't let that be you. Have more pride than that. I'm not saying have so much pride to the point where you're not vulnerable. You know, being vulnerable is, a, is a, an aspect of a man that, that women really like. But you need to have that pride to where if a girl is playing games with you, you're going to let her know, I'm not sticking around for that. There are way too many other options out there. I like you. I want it to work out. But what's not going to happen is I'm not going to stick around and be played with. So when you hear this, you're probably thinking to yourself, she is playing with me. Oh, my God. But don't call her up in an, in an anger, you know, in this, in this tantrum and say, you little bitch, you've been playing with me. You know, a lot of times women don't even know that they're doing that. Okay? It's just, 
It's just one of those human, you know, aspects of human nature, not just a woman. I think men can do the same thing to women, you know. Um, so she probably doesn't know that she's, she's doing this to you. So what you need to do, this is my advice. Uh, get this girl, take her to dinner, and say, I like you. And I like you so much that I don't think I could be friends with you. You know, or I can't be just friends with you. I need more than that. I want more than that. And I would like us to try to have more than that, despite this, you know, two hour long distance relationship, which can work uh, if it has the right foundation, if you guys really click when you are together. And while at this dinner, if she says no, if she says she doesn't want a relationship, you need to follow through on that. You need to stop talking to her. You need to stop accepting her calls. Don't be rude to her. Don't call her a bitch. Never talk to me again. I fucking hate you. No. Be very graceful about it. Be a very gentleman about it. Don't talk to her. Uh, don't call her. If she calls you, you know, be like, be, you know, be very short with her. And you need to follow through on that. And I guarantee you, if she has some interest in you, she's probably going to move forward with it. Because now you've, you've taken out the option of her waiting. You've taken it out. Now, like I said, ultimatums can cannot go your way sometimes, so she may not ever call you again. And you know what? If that's the case, it's probably the best thing. If she can't stand a, a two-hour drive to hang out with you, uh, there are a lot more things in a relationship that are harder than that. If she can't handle that, it's not really a good foundation for a relationship. Just my advice. So either way, you need to put that ball in her court, and you need to take that chance. So that's my advice to you. Uh, other than that, that's all I have for this video, guys. If you have some advice that maybe is different than mine, go ahead and feel free and leave it in the comment section. Anything you think is going to help this guy out. This is Sergeant Merrill, out here.